will be consistent with the other data. But these base sheets that I have are called contain, meaning they will not display <coughs> a shape bigger than their co bigger than their base. So they won't display a coefficient bigger than their base. Let's do one more. Let's up it to, oh look, I just lost the eight. It's now become a cube, but notice the seven is now showing that one left over. Uh, this may be confusing. We can show this real easy where we have a quartic ability at the bar. So please come in if you want to see this. But how could I do this with different sheets there? Now I've exceeded all of them. Oh, my calculator won't let me go bigger than, than this one. So let's go back over to our input. And now I'm going to give you, we'll take our first one here. So I think I can pick a number that everybody knows. So you're back on the Google Doc. And here's a number that is actually a two-digit in base 10. It's a two-digit number. It's 12. So my coefficient is 12. That does not show up on any of my base sheets so far that I've designed. But I can use differences. We take the first difference. We get 12, 36, 60, 84. We take the second difference. We get 24s. It's a constant. That means we have a square equation. We divide it by 2. We get 12x squared. We take away 12x squared from our data, and we end up with all zeros, meaning this is just a simple equation, y equals 12x squared. I'm going to go, and I'm going to put one more interesting piece of input into the Now it's starting to look a little nasty. Definitely not. Now it's starting to look a little nasty. Hold on. Cubes <laughs> are a little too big. <laughs> cubes, people don't understand when you cube a floating point number, it gets really ugly. And I think we're almost done, but uh, trying to get one that. Yeah, we we got about three more minutes. There we go. Ew. That one should come out. Look at that. How, how effective is that? This is a quartic equation. Fourth degree polynomial. And I can even derive a fifth degree and a sixth degree polynomial on this sheet. It, the spreadsheet, Google spreadsheet has trouble with too big of a decimal. And remember, uh, just one decimal place to the fifth power generates five decimal places. So you got to be, Google's got some problems. <laughs> but as long as I stick to integers, you can see that we continue to take the differences until we get out to that fourth one. And guess what you have to divide when you're at fourth degree? You have to divide by four factorial. In other words, x to the fourth is 4x to the cube, which is 12x squared, which is 24x. So you have to divide by 24. And that gives you that foundation of derivatives, so essential in calculus. And yet you start to see it as it ties back into seeing numbers as they really are and subquanting. I hope I didn't burn out your brain too bad. Oh, so I think thank we have a way to get these very much. Too. We are. Hmm? Oh, I was going to say, I, I think I've made these spreadsheets public somewhere. I may not have yet. Um, yeah, they're public. So if they've got a link, they can view But I don't think they can 
They don't think. Yeah, you, I think you have to do that individually. So if you'd like, yeah, because to, you can corrupt my own sheet. If you if I let you go in, you can corrupt it by changing yeah, the program. Yeah, we had we had problems locking certain cells down. So 